Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here and I really appreciate your time. So I'm going to briefly be giving um, just some quick commentary on this whole situation with uh, Deja Harris to tweet going viral where she basically says that she regrets the texture that she has and she, you know, implies that she wishes that she had her mother's texture. So for those who may not realize right off the bat, uh, Deja Harris is the daughter of T.I. and Tiny Harris. Tiny is actually biracial. She is half white. So Tiny has, I suppose, the stereotypical uh, mixed, loose, curly texture, whereas T.I. is African-American. And so Deja is expressing that she wishes that she had her mother's hair over her father's hair. If you take a look at some of the children that they have, some of their children appear to have like a looser texture, some of the boys. So... I think that that's what she was talking about. I'm going to talk a little bit about why I feel as though she felt even comfortable to say this and why I think a lot of other light-skinned people probably feel the same exact way. I think there are way more light-skinned people who are either just light-skinned or biracial or uh, mixed light-skinned people who are actually mixed or have a mixed parent that have a hair texture that does not match up with the stereotype of being biracial. The reason why I really wasn't shocked by this is um, in high school, I was actually dating a guy um, and he was light skinned. He had the kind of sandy blonde hair um, and he had light eyes. However, he had very kinky hair. And I remember one time we were speaking and he actually said to me one time that he feels that his light skin was a waste um, or should I say, well, he actually said that he is light skin for no reason. Being as though he has kinky hair and doesn't, I guess, receive the benefits of being a light skin person with light eyes and quote unquote good hair. So I just, I just, that stuck with me ever since high school. I've, you know, and like I said, I don't feel like uh, Deja is the only person who feels this way. So I'm going to quickly read her tweet and then I'll talk about uh, why I feel she said this. So Deja says, I hate to admit it, but I'm so sad that I have my dad's hair texture. Sad because it's so much to deal with. Manage. Ugh. Sad because I feel like it does not fit me. That's interesting. Does not fit me, nor is this texture one that's appreciated or, or uplifted as much as other textures. Okay, so reading her whole tweet, I actually understand what she's saying for two reasons. The first reason is focusing on the very last part of the tweet where she says it's not appreciated or as uplifted as other textures. That's completely true. Unfortunately, even within the natural hair community, which originally was supposed to be a space for Black women of all textures to learn how to embrace and take care of their hair, it has turned into much of the same where there's a hierarchy of textures that are considered the preferred textures and then below that there's like the 4c um any pattern where your your hair texture does not curl or coil it's more of a zigzag pattern it's more soft and cotton like those textures are oftentimes marginalized unfortunately they're not shown oftentimes um in advertisements and unfortunately on youtube this very space within the natural hair community oftentimes unfortunately content creators who have a certain texture will be elevated above others whether it's pushed by the algorithm or if it's pushed by genuine interest you know I think there is something to be said about black women consciously in the natural hair community who believe that they are you know past a certain point and they feel like they are on the journey to embracing their hair However, they seem, you know, based off of their viewership, it seems that oftentimes black women are more drawn to looking at someone who has a looser textured hair, who, you know, wets their hair and it curls. They put a little bit of gel in their hair. Their hair just, you know, it seems like that's more what people are interested in looking at. Because I remember a couple of years ago, there were a lot of famous natural hair content creators who left the platform because they felt like, they were not getting the same viewership. They felt like they were not getting the same opportunities with natural hair brands because because of their you know of their viewership. You know, um, 
And unfortunately, I think there's a lot of black women who are natural, who think that they are liberated mentally and to a point where they are on to embracing their natural hair, but they're really not. They still hold on to a lot of really problematic ideas about black hair that are anti-black. So the reason why I feel like Deja felt comfortable to say this is because like I said, I think there are a lot more light-skinned people who, based off of their ethnicity, um, have a biracial parent and feel like, you know, I came out light-skinned, you know, I had the light skin, but I don't have the quote-unquote good hair. And I think that is, that's a real thing. I really do. I think that based off of the stereotypes and the kind of expectations that we put on each other, Black people send, tend to think that a certain phenotype goes with a certain hair texture. I just think that while everyone is on Twitter pretending to be super woke and, you know, outraged, I think a lot of people have those have those same expectations automatically when someone is light-skinned we assume that they are biracial or mixed and we are looking to see if they have a certain type of hair you know what i mean i think that is that's that's real i think that's a real um socially accepted widely socially accepted idea which is why i think deja felt comfortable saying this now when she says doesn't fit me I absolutely think that's exactly what I'm talking about. I think she again feels like my mom is biracial. Um, I'm looking at some of my brothers. They have those biracial, aesthetically uh, stereotypical phenotypes, but I don't. So if I'm a part of this family, I should have those same phenotypes. I think that we really have to hold our, hold ourselves accountable across the board and really check to make sure that we are being fair with her you know and 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 not attacking her or dragging her just because that's what people do on twitter and her tweet is obviously laced with tons of anti-blackness but i don't think it's i don't think that it's fair that people are acting like what she's saying is so foreign or just like you know but there are people saying things like let's let's read some of the tweets so this person replied back and said Anytime I see someone with type 4 hair, I always compliment them because I know how it feels to genuinely not like your hair texture. I never want anyone to feel like that. It looks good. So bomb on other people. But me, yeah, no. And so I think that that was someone admitting to what I was talking about. Being in that weird space where you are, quote, you know, where you are conscious enough to understand and appreciate you know, features of being black and you you think you're pro-black and you feel like you have gotten past this point. However, it's still a, a point where it's uncomfortable because at the end of the day, within the black community, we still absolutely praise and fawn over and, and pedestalize loose textured hair. We still do this in 2021. This is not something that is a horrible trope from the 90s or the late 80s. Black people are still doing this. We still, absolutely, you will still see this in black families. Absolutely. That which is explaining about the culture on social media. There's definitely a clear division between those acceptable naturals and the naturals who have natural hair as well, but it's not the kind of natural hair that companies want to package. You know, I remember a while ago, there was this big upkick with all these different products and curling putties and jellies that promise to make your hair curl. And that's absolutely fine if your hair does curl. But if you don't have curly hair, as I said, if you have coily or kinky hair, it don't matter how much you layer on it, you know, on your hair strands, it's not going to look like Tracy, Ella, like Tracy Ellis Ross's hair. Here's another tweet that says, nobody... Y'all, I hate looking black and having fantifically black features. I, I do. I think there is still a lot of black people who don't like looking black. And not even like, again, this, I'm trying to find the words, not even on like a conscientious level. But I think because we think we're in 2021, a lot of people think that they are past that mindset. They think they're woke. And they think that, you know, that's it's a thing of the past and it's not 
I still think there are a lot of black people who don't like their phenotypical features. And if they could, they would change them. So finally, this is what Deja said. She, after, you know, she kind of got dragged on Twitter and she basically made a, I guess a statement and she made it in her notes and she posted her screenshot. So this is what her screenshot says. Since Twitter won't let me type everything I wanted to say in one tweet, I wrote my response in my notes and screenshot it for you. It says, I genuinely compliment them because again, growing up, I never had any compliments or positive comments when it comes to my hair, I was told my hair was nappy. There's that word. Um, or too thick and some more shit. I know how that made me feel. So I make sure I, I make sure to uplift everyone, not just people with type four hair to make sure they never have to experience those feelings or even just to boost their confidence. If they love who they are or comfortable or to make sure they are comfortable with their hair already it has nothing to do with me thinking that I don't, it has nothing to do with me thinking they don't like it, but more so than I want to simply make sure they feel seen, appreciated, respected, and I want them to know that their hair is bomb. I never said anything was wrong with my type 4 hair. I just, okay, she just said, I just wanted to talk about it being difficult for me to manage. I have a hard time with my hair personally. Okay, uh, I get what she's saying, but again, girl, <laughs> um, it's clear that there's some other things going on there. Again, I think a lot of people feel how she feels. I think more people, if they were focused, if they were less focused on being woke and, you know, dragging her and all these other things, I think there would be more people who are willing to come out and honestly admit that they wish, if, if they had the option, they would change different parts of their phenotype, be it their facial features or their hair texture or even their skin tone to have what they perceive as an easier or better time, you know, taking space and living. But yeah, that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching. Um, take care. Bye.